What up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy, out here with another comic review. So we have Astonishing X-Men, <clears throat> number seven, Man Called X, new storyline. As we all know, the Shadow King has been defeated, and Charles Xavier has returned from the grave. <clears throat> you can see Phantom X's body and Charles Xavier representing that Charles is now inhabiting his body. But you know, it is what it is. Let's get into it. So we see Charles Xavier is like, I know what you're thinking. What am I going to do next? We'll get there, I promise. But first, I need to thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. And Rogue is like, sure, Xavier. It's like, but what the hell did you do? Then Xavier's like, yeah, don't call me. Call me X. I don't think I'm ready to go with Professor Charles, X Charles Francis Xavier just yet. It doesn't feel right. I know you have questions, and I'll answer them in time, but the main thing is that I'm back, reborn. But like most births, it couldn't have happened without pain. It's not easy to save the world. So I move into Astonishing X-Men, a man called X Part 1, Act 2. So the new one is that Charles Xavier has returned from death from endless banishment on the astral plane with the help of his X-Men. He has returned, but he is not the same. He has become younger, and his return seems to have had a price on one of the mutants. One of the mutants who helped him escape death, Phantom X. Solid Mystique and Rogue try to understand what they brought back from the astral plane, while elsewhere in London, the final strike from the defeated Shadow King rages in the city. A psychic infection ravaging anyone it touches, including Bishop, Logan, and Gambit. Deal, let's say, Logan and Gambit deal with an enraged, out of control archangel, while the human authorities take steps towards cleansing the city of its mutant problem once and for all. Now, this seems like an X-Men... Classic X-Men thick, but anyway. Charles Soul, the writer, has been doing a good job. This is a new artist, Phil Noto. Um, Clayton Collins did the lettering. Neil Donald Jr. and Frank Martin did the main cover. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> we see an enraged aim archangel just destroying all these jets and everything like that. And they're telling him to drop the payload, but he was instructed, um, Archangel has last control. This is annoying. I, I don't know why they brought this back, but this is apparently back. But anyway, um, he's about to destroy another one. And then uh, we see that Xavier appears to Warren, saying that, Warren, I'm not sure you can process what I'm saying. That thing inside of you has taken over, but still, thank you for everything you've done for me. And of course, they drop the payload, and the bomb's about to hit London to purge all the... Shadow King inhabitants, and he's like, I'm still him, the Archangel, but I'm me, Warren. I have the power, but not the coldness, not the rage. I can't even feel him anymore. It's just like he's gone. And then you just see Xavier's like, my gift to you. You earned it, friend, but Warren, but please, Warren, we're running out of time. He's like, on it. So we see that Warren has been purged of its darkness by Xavier. And so we now have an even more powerful Warren Worthington with full control. So you see Warren saves the bomb, throws it up in the air, uses his metal um, spike wings, and destroys it. Boom. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Defense, we see that we're scrambling another bomber flight commander, bomber flight commander, but it won't be, sta be on station for at least 10 minutes. Like, I'm afraid that's too long, Sergeant. It's like the madness is spreading. It's already overwhelmed the cordons. It'll take over the whole city in no time. The bomb was our one hope of stopping it, and we failed. It's like the mutants won. And then we just see um, Astral Xavier, or X, like saying, you see that like it's a bad thing, saying, who, how, it's like, stop that, don't move an inch, it's like, oh please, you're being ridiculous, <laughs> I like this, Charles Xavier, it's like, everything will be fine, Commander Keen, my name is X, and I'm not here to hurt you, in fact, I come bearing gifts, and he's like, gifts, like that, like what's ever infected half of London, and we just say, that wasn't any, that wasn't me or any of my X-Men, the Shadow King set that loose, he was, well, he was all awful, honestly, but I killed him. Dead. That's my thing, really. I'm a problem solver. Huh, interesting. So he's purging everybody of the infection. And Bishop has been curious. Like, I'll purge the infection from their minds, gather it together until I can dispose of it. It'll take some time to clean them all, but I'll get it done, and that'll be that. That's gift number one, free of charge. I ain't just see that. There's another... Oh, sure. You all work hard around here. I can tell. I'm going to have to give you a chance to rest. When you wake up, this will all be over, and you won't remember a thing about X-Men in London. That my, that's my second gift to you. Happiness. After all, ignorance is bliss. Oh, sounds a little bit uh, ominous. <laughs> in the meanwhile, back in 
his body, or Phantom X's body, he's like this, there, this will all be over soon. And Jesse, over? You haven't told us anything. You haven't given us any mystique. It's like, you haven't given us any reason to think you're anything but the, one of the Shadow King's tricks. And he's like, you know I'm not, Raven. You saw me kill the Shadow King. You helped me do it. It's like, did I? It's like, I'm starting to think I just helped you kill Phantom X. Which I think that she was developing feelings for the man. So she's obviously pissed about it. He's like, no, he's fine, although he had to stay behind in the astral plane. It was the only way I could return. A trade for a trade him for a trade. Him for me, flesh for flesh. And Psylocke's like, did he have any say in this? Absolutely. He saw it as a gift. It was my first gift to thank him for all his help. He welcomed it. Ask him yourself, Betsy. Go into the astral plane. I have things handled here. It's like, I'm going to do it, Rogue. I need to understand. I need to understand this. I won't be gone long. Watch him. Oh, we will bet on it. It's like, right then. <clears throat> then we get all these ads. X-Men Red. I'm not too sure about this. Adam Warlock. Blah, 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 blah. And they're doing something with the Infinity Stones again. Okay. So anyway, we just see, um, oh, and we just see Phantom X in a pristine French area welcoming Betsy. And it's like, we just see, what was it you said? You wouldn't trust me to water your plants so much less save the world? Look at me now, mademoiselle, look at me now. It's like, but Phantom X Xavier said that he took your body, made it his. If he's out there and you're here forever, was this really your choice? <clears throat> it's like, I was nothing out there, Betsy. Bouncing from one misdeed to the next, killing, whoring, thieving, a beast, really. Whereas Charles Xavier, a great man, many would pick him to live over me, given the choice. Well, I was given the choice, and it turn and as it turns out, I am one of many. And we just see, um, <clears throat> we just see, they say, but he's psychic. He could have placed a thought in your head without you even realizing it. My Xavier would never have done that, but he was trapped here with the Shadow King for so long. Say, like, hmm, I will say this. I do not know if freeing Xavier was a choice I actually made, but it was the choice I should have made. I can live with that. Besides, it's beautiful here. The Shadow King turned the astral plane into a place of darkness. I think perhaps I can fill it with light. Why don't you come visit me again? See if I manage it. I, maybe I will, Phantom X. Like, good luck. And you just see him thank Psylocke graciously. Meanwhile, <clears throat> Gambit and Rogue are like, it's like, you ever see anything like this before, Logan? It's like, no, LeBeau, and that's saying something. You think it's something good? Is it ever something good? And when they just hear um, Archangel come in, it's like, oh, man. And he, yeah, we just see Gavin's like, now listen here, it, the Shadow King's out of our heads. I see I got my beautiful red eyes back. No shadows. Everything's good. Farouk, he's gone, gone. It's like, he ain't listening. Warren's gone. That's all, Archangel. Get ready to fight. And you just see them getting their stuff ready to go. And then meanwhile, the guy's like, look, look, chill out, people. I'm back to normal. And he just see, wait, is that you, Warren? Yep, all me. I'm in control. And Logan said, oh, 15 minutes ago, you looked like you were wanting to kill anything that moved, and now you're a bluebird of happiness? How about you tell us what happened? And you just see, I didn't actually, I actually didn't do it. Someone was talking in my head, called me down. He said he was Xavier. And Gambit's like, Charles Xavier's dead. Cyclops killed him. It's like, I saw something that said it was Xavier on the astral plane. Figured it was one of the Shadow King's tricks. But maybe, this is like, I have to say, it felt like the professor talked like him, too, but he was young, like maybe 30? And it's like, huh, maybe that boy Legion? It's like, no, I know David Holler, that this wasn't him. It's like, okay, between that and this Xavier business, we need to get back with the others. I don't know what any of this means, That that's a problem. <clears throat> it's like... And what if he's truly back? Could be, you know, could be. Professor's cheated death a time or two, I recall. It's like, don't know LeBeau, but I'll tell you one thing. Young, old, whatever, we need to see what happens. Anything, if there's anything deeper. I've died more times than I can remember. Don't know, I think I ever came back the same. So, everybody's getting purged from the Shadow King's influence, but Bishop is noticing something's wrong with this orb, so he accesses his end time database. And he's like, okay, was there ever a time in history there was a green sun over London? And then you just see Xavier's like, see, I told you, Phantom X is fine. He has a purpose, even. Maybe for the first time in his life, he's happy. You felt it, right? And she's like, yes. Yes, yes, I did. It's like, exactly, purpose, my gift to him. The least I could do in return for him giving me my life back. <clears throat> Rogue asks about Gambit. You said you couldn't save him. Does that mean he's dead? No. I'm saying, not at all. In fact... 
There he is now with Warren and Logan. Good. Now if we can just find Bishop, I have gifts for all of you. You all did me. You all did so much for me. So I'm I'm, I'm very skeptical about these gifts, but hey. It's like search term located and a green sun appearing above London in the early twenty first century as inciting incident of the mind killer apocalypse results in sterilized earth across ninety seven percent of the timelines of in which it occurs. Oh, so here we're getting a new problem. It's like I'm almost finished purging the Shadow King's infection. Once that's done, we'll all be able to put this behind us. It wasn't easy to find my way back. I had to make some hard choices. But now that I'm here, I think it's fair to say it was all worth... He's like, wait. Did I see something explode? Damn it. You just see... No. No. Just see this boom. Just see what... What's happening? I, I don't... It's like this energy. I think I felt it before. Of course you know it's not like we all do. Xavier just didn't just bring himself back from the dead. And we just see death came with him. It's like, that's Proteus. And so we see that Proteus has returned. It's like, I am free to be continued. And this was surprisingly good. But anyway, this, of course, has been the best X-Men book and they built up to like the next arc in this storyline, which I am very much impressed with. I'm excited for issue number eight. Charles Saul is killing it with this book. Go get it. So, once again, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications to make sure you're notified. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people, because I want to discuss good comics and get your views on them. Thank you all for watching, and I shall have more videos up later today.